Whether you are an animal lover or not, I'm sure you will find it hard not to be overwhelmed with baby animals. The tiny newborns will make you want to hug them, from the way they sleep, yawn and smile to the way they blink their eyes. So, if you can't take time from your busy schedule and go out to the zoo, then let me take you on a virtual tour where you get to know all about the cutest animal babies. Welcome to Give a Fact, and you are watching the top cutest baby animals. If you like this kind of video, be sure to subscribe for more great content or tell us what you want to learn more about in the comment section below. Now let's get straight into the video, shall we? 1. Baby Giant Panda According to World Wildlife, the panda, with its distinctive black and white coat, is adored by the world and considered a national treasure in China. They live mainly in temperate forests high in the mountains of southwest China, where they subsist almost entirely on bamboo. They must eat around 26 to 84 pounds of it every day, depending on what part of the bamboo they are eating. Did you know that a newborn panda is about the size of a stick of butter? About 1 900th the size of its mother. But females can grow to about 200 pounds, while males can grow up to about 300 pounds as adults. 2. Baby Elephants Elephants are the largest land mammals on Earth. Almost all of us have come across them in the zoo. But have you ever got a chance to check out the baby elephant? If you haven't, you should. And you're going to adore these little calves who smile back whenever anyone looks at them. A single calf is born to a female once every four to five years and after a gestation period of 22 months, the longest of any mammal. Calves are cared for by the entire herd of related females. Female calves may stay with their maternal herd for the rest of their lives, while males leave the herd as they reach puberty. Did you know that once common throughout Africa and Asia, elephant populations have experienced a significant decline over the last century? The greatest threat to African elephants is poaching for the illegal ivory trade, while Asian elephants' populations are most at risk from habitat loss and resulting human-elephant conflict. 3. Baby Rabbit The size of a grown-up rabbit is small enough to fit in your palms, and they can adjust to a comfortable position easily. The baby bunnies can easily fit in a relaxing position in the middle of your hand due to their inch-long size. As den animals, rabbits burrow underground to stay warm and secure. The mother rabbits bury the entrance to their den after giving birth to a litter. When they are young, these cute rabbits only consume their mother's milk to stay alive. Mother rabbits feed the young more than twice a day and only for 5 to 10 minutes at a time. They receive all their milk for the day in this brief period. The young survive the whole day with the rich milk of the rabbit. 4. Baby Hedgehog The hedgehog was named because of its peculiar foraging methods. These animals root through hedges and the other undergrowth in search of the small creatures that compose the bulk of their diet. Insects, worms, centipedes, snails, mice, frogs, and snakes. As a hedgehog picks its way through the hedges, it emits pig-like grunts, thus the hedgehog. The young born each year in litters range from 1 to 11, remain with their mothers for only 4 to 7 weeks before heading out on their own. Did you know that hedgehog mothers have also been known to eat their young if the nest is disturbed, though they sometimes simply move them to a new nest? 5. Baby Hippo Hippopotamuses love water which is why the Greeks named them the River Horse. Hippos spend up to 16 hours a day submerged in rivers and lakes to keep their massive bodies cool under the hot African sun. Hippos are graceful in the water and can hold their breath underwater for up to 5 minutes. Hippo calves weigh nearly 100 pounds at birth and can suckle on land or underwater by closing their ears and nostrils. Each female has only one calf every two years. Soon after birth, the mother and young join schools that provide some protection against crocodiles, lions, and hyenas. 6. Baby Owl Did you know what a young baby owl is called? An owlet. Like all baby birds, owlets are distinctly different from mature adult birds. These young birds have a great deal of soft, fluffy down and generally lack clear markings, but their facial discs are one of the first plumage features to develop. The shape, size, and color of the disc can be highly useful in proper owlet identification. 
eye and bill color can also be helpful in identifying baby owls, though some young birds have a slightly different coloration than mature birds. For owl species that have ear tufts, owlets may also show short, fluffy nubs on their heads. Though they lack the full shape, coloration, and dexterity that mature owls will have with their ear tufts. The wings may also develop early in owlets, and the young birds may show barring or other markings on their first flight feathers, while their bodies are still covered with indistinct down. 7. Baby Fox There are over 30 species of fox living in an amazing variety of environments all over the world. In general, foxes are a small member of the dog family, the largest of which is the typical red fox. Fox vocalizations include chilling nighttime screams, coyote-like howls, whimpers, snuffing noises, and a happy call that sounds like a human baby crying. But the most distinct sound most foxes make is a type of chuckling noise called a gecker. Foxes will gecker when they are fighting or playing. They will also gecker out of excitement and nervousness. And as most foxes are rather nervous creatures, the sound is emitted quite often. A litter of kits play fighting will roll around geckering for hours at a time. And a vixen defending her den will gecker an intruder right out of her territory. 8. Baby Flapjack Octopus You may have heard about the octopus, and we all know that they are pretty smart. But are you familiar with the Flapjack Octopus? If you aren't, you'll surely love the adorable Baby Flapjack Octopus. Researchers exploring the deep sea have spotted this little octopus resting on the mud, its orange body resembling a strange lumpy pancake. When it swims, it looks like jelly, and when it floats, it looks like an umbrella. In all its shapes, the flapjack octopus is cute. Scientists even considered naming it Adorabilis. They are often known as pearls because of the flapjack octopus named Pearl in the children's film Finding Nemo. A mature female can produce something between 225 and 475 eggs. The embryos are hatched right into planktonic stage. The maximum flapjack octopus size is 7.9 inches in length. The Opistotheothis is 10 times bigger than a sea slug. Did you know that, unlike other octopi, serrate octopi can't camouflage, lacking the ability to change skin texture or color? 9. Baby Bat Bats are mammals, so a female bat gives birth to a live baby and does not lay eggs. Astonishingly, females give birth while hanging upside down. The mother pushes her pup out of her womb towards her feet and then catches it to prevent it from falling to the ground. Once they're out of the womb, their mothers will groom their pups and then move them onto their chest, where they can suckle. Adult female bats usually give birth to one or two babies each year. These pups are born hairless, blind, and dependent on their mothers to survive. Newborn baby bats are only about 2 inches in length and weigh a few grams. Juveniles cling to their mothers for a few days and take around a month to grow strong enough for flight. Did you know that over 300 species of fruit depend on bats for pollination? Bats help spread seeds for nuts, figs, and cacao, the main ingredient in chocolate. Without bats, we also wouldn't have plants like agave or the iconic saguaro cactus. And that is a wrap! What did you learn from this video? Let us know in the comment section below! We hope that our educational videos will help spread the knowledge so everyone can protect our world and biodiversity together. Please like and subscribe to our channel if you find our videos useful and want us to make more videos. Until next time, give a fact!